It was my first movie, and I was just really proud to be part of it. It was an amazing ensemble piece of work by everybody. I had a great casting lady on this called Simon Reynolds. I said, I want this IRA guy to make a sort of impact. And Simon Reynolds came up with the name of this young actor called uh, Pierce Brosnan. And I said, well, who's he? You know, who's Pierce Brosnan? This was my first film. My agent called me, said, I've got you two days, possibly three days work on a film called The Long Good Friday. Report to work next Tuesday, Morden Swimming Baths. I hadn't a clue what I was supposed to do. I hadn't read the script. They didn't send me the script. There was no dialogue. <laughs> I didn't have to read for this part. <laughs> John said, you play an IRA hitman. Got no lines, but you kill people. <laughs> I said, I'm in, great. And he said, this guy's gay, and you're picking him up and you're gonna kill him. That was my job, kill him. And the rest was for whatever I wanted to make it. All right. All right. I picked the guy up and then there's like, you know, give him the old knifey knifey. I got nothing to say really, except that was my day at work at Morden Baths and we did a good job killing Paul. I wish all parts were like this, actually. Here, hold up, where's Victoria? And sees Helen taken away. Bob Hoskins gets whisked away. And then I show up in the front seat, popping up with the gun. Pierce Brosnan says, I never met him. He actually takes me off and kills me, but I never met him. Welcome to the world of film. I showed up to shoot the sequence. Bob Hoskins wasn't there. Phil Mayhew was in the back with the camera and lights. John McKenzie driving and me giving my best smile of malevolence. But I was completely ignorant. I didn't realize that it was going to be such a cinematic moment. And when it... For me, as an actor of 25 years of age, it was brilliant. But. I'm glad I made something with my career, otherwise you wouldn't be talking to me. I'd just still be the guy at the end of the movie. <laughs> I think The Long Good Friday is one of those rare movies that has this amazing inner energy. <laughs>